Hi, I thought we'd better cover um, the sort of safety aspects and uh, what you are and aren't allowed to do as far as uh, you know your own work on uh, you know boilers and gas and things like that. A couple of things I wanted to say first of all, uh, I am not a central heating engineer, I'm a TV engineer but I have a lot of experience over the last 30 years of plumbing, electrics, uh, I've got all my own equipment here for plumbing and electrics. I'm happy with compression fittings, uh, soldering fittings, end feed fittings. I've used them all. As I say, I've got a lot of experience. What I'm discussing in these videos is uh, is not going to be for, for everybody and it is not uh, a statement of what the law is. It's uh, my interpretation of what you can and can't do. Uh, I am more than happy for anyone to comment in the uh, comment section uh, if I've made any mistakes or have uh, misunderstood anything. Um, what I don't want this to turn into is, uh, uh, you know, a you're wrong, no I'm not, I'm right uh, comments section. Um, I've gone over, visited a lot of forums over the last week and it always turns into a slanging match with somebody saying they're right and somebody else saying they're wrong. If, uh, if anyone wants to correct any of my understanding, please say so, but include proof. So uh, I, I appreciate you can't put direct links to websites, but you could uh, you know, send me a message uh, or just spell out the website so YouTube don't block it and recognize it as a web address. Uh, you know, there's way around these problems. But just don't say I'm wrong, I'm talking cobblers. Just you know, prove the, the point by adding a link or pointing me in the right direction to a website where you have read or uh, I have misunderstood something. Okay, um, it seems an absolute tragedy that people still die each year because they haven't fitted either carbon monoxide detectors or smoke alarms, or they have and they haven't changed the batteries in 2013. It's just ridiculous. So, you know, all this has got to be done correctly and uh, there are certain things that you can and can't do. Um, the first thing is, unless you are gas safe certified, and that's the website we're, uh, we're looking at at the moment, uh, you cannot make connections to the gas meter uh, and you cannot obviously uh, commission a, uh, a boiler. It has to be connected uh, by a gas safe certified uh, heating engineer and they have to run through various checks and uh, tests to determine that the system is uh, connected and working correctly. Now uh, from what I've read if you are the owner of a property and you are living in it you are more than entitled to fit the pipes, uh, fit the radiators, uh, put the boiler on the wall, uh, make the water connections to it, run the 22 mil copper pipe around to uh, you know where the your gas meter might be. Um, but I think the rules are different if you are a, uh, an owner of a property but a landlord and you're letting it out and that sort of thing. So what I'm saying in all of these videos is uh, purely my understanding of the rules for an owner who uh, is living in their own property. Okay, so uh, for any other situations, uh, contact uh, you know the gas safe website uh, or your local heating engineer, uh, anybody, rather than you know have a bash at this yourself because I think the rules are very very much different for those situations. Um, anyway, this uh, gas safe register replaced the Corgi uh, scheme. I, I, I can't, can't remember when, maybe maybe five or six years ago. Uh, somebody can probably correct me on that. And you may even find the, the details on the, the gas safe uh, register website. But what this allows you to do is, is obviously uh, uh, help sections and uh, so even in their DIY uh, section thinking of doing it they just warn you about the problems you could have. They don't say it's illegal to do this, that or that. 
Um, but what this does allow you to do is you can find a, a local gas safe business that's in, in your area. Uh, you can click down here and uh, check a gas engineer. Now anyone who turns up to do work on your boiler must have a uh, gas safe registration card or an ID card as they call it. Um, the ID card number can be entered into this website and their details will come up. So that's for an individual gas engineer and then underneath that you also have the same thing uh, for a, a company uh, gas safe registration number. So and, and you must check if anyone comes to do work on your gas system you must check their ID. It just makes no sense to say oh yeah that's fine you say you're a gas safe engineer and <laughs> just accept that. They're not going to mind if they're genuine and they are really gas safe registered engineers they are not going to mind if you take five seconds to type their number uh, into uh, this website. You can also also report uh, people on this website who are not gas safe registered if they are claiming that they are and there's, uh, there's, there's a lot of information on here about the do's and don'ts uh, in, this, uh, in this sort of thing so I would suggest visiting the, the gas safe register .co.uk. I'll put all the links into the, uh, the description of this video. Um, so yeah, that's a must. Um, Ian on my forum uh, suggested there may be uh, planning uh, issues to deal with as well and uh, you can go to uh, the planning department's website which is just up there. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this. Again, links will be below but it is basically planningportal.gov.uk slash permission slash common projects slash boilers heating and uh, that will take you to this page and they uh, just discuss the various uh, things to bear in mind. Now I've read through this and as far as I can see um, planning permission is uh, not normally required for installation or replacement of a boiler or heating system if all the work is internal. Uh, a listed building is uh, obviously different. Um, the manufacturers of the boilers have really strict um, flu placement diagrams in the instructions uh, that come with the installation uh, pack. Uh, so you, you do have to follow all the rules and the regulations. But I've looked through this and I can't see any reason uh, why we would need any sort of permission uh, for this new installation. If you're replacing an old boiler you obviously must, go, I think you must install uh, a Sedbuck A rated uh, boiler. Uh, to replace your older, more inefficient uh, boiler. I believe there are certain circumstances where you can replace uh, an older, uh, not so efficient boiler with uh, the same type, um, but again that's something you would need to uh, look into uh, yourself. Um, so I'm quite happy uh, for our situation uh, Oh, hey, then it's interesting. Uh, if you're replacing boilers, I just noticed this gas boiler. An installer should be gas safe registered from the 1st of April 2009. So, in fact, uh, I was wrong. It's not five or six years, it's probably uh, nearer to four years, nearly exactly four years, that the gas safe register replaced uh, the Corgi um, uh, register. Um, there are various uh, PDF files for. Uh, that you can download here. There's a domestic heating compliance guide. Uh, each boiler must have a minimum of efficiency, blah blah blah. So absolutely full of information and I would advise visiting the, uh, the planning department's website just for a, a quick look at stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if in doubt, they uh, you, you can contact your local planning department 
Uh, we had cause to do that a few years ago when we wanted to install a fence down the side of uh, our property and the neighbour was complaining and uh, they were really helpful and uh, sorted our issue out in, uh, in one phone call. Uh, so yeah, if you're not sure of anything, just give them a ring. Um, so yeah, as I say, safety is uh, the key in any of this work and uh, I think I'm a competent person because I've got a lot of experience and I'm quite sure uh, that I can install the relevant pipes and bits and pieces uh, safely and uh, to the specification required but if you're in any doubt don't do it um, you know carbon monoxide and mains electricity will kill you <laughs> very quickly and uh, it's it's not worth you doing this yourself if you are not a hundred percent happy about everything that you uh, are written you know need to do um, you might find that uh, you can get advice from a, uh, a friendly heating advisor or installer um, we're obviously going to have to pay somebody to come and inspect and uh, test everything and commission the boiler uh, I don't think we've got any problems with that but we are in the situation of knowing people in the building trade uh, where other people that are watching this video perhaps uh, don't have that uh, that luxury so as I say if if you're not a hundred percent certain just just don't do it this is for the video series is really for people like me who've got a very good idea of uh, of what's required and, uh, and have all the equipment to uh, safely install everything uh, so yeah moving away from uh, the safety and planning side I was lucky enough to come across a forum uh, last night when I was looking uh, at trying to find some better prices on some of the equipment and uh, somebody on that forum, and I can't remember which forum it was but it doesn't matter, had mentioned uh, mrcentralheating.co.uk so I just popped off here and, uh, and had a look and I was amazed at the, the prices um, one of the biggest costs, obviously apart from the boiler, uh, is the uh, is the pipe work. Especially if you've got uh, you know longer runs. We're in a fairly large uh, detached bungalow, and um, you know some of the runs will be fairly long. And and copper pipe is ridiculously expensive. Uh, I had heard that you could use uh, plastic, but I had absolutely no idea uh, how, <laughs> how cheap it was. And I'll just give you an example of that. If we go to plumbing supplies and pipes and fittings and then scroll across to plastic pipe and fittings uh, you can buy uh, let's have a look yeah here we go let me just get the camera on this yeah you can see there hopefully uh, 15 mil pipe uh, 30 meters is 23 pounds 50 including VAT um, and you can buy a 15 mil sorry a 15 meter pack uh, which is only 12 pounds I suspect we'll probably need uh, you know two or three uh, packs of 30 meters perhaps less it's I haven't worked that side of things out yet and uh, you can buy uh, 22 mil obviously in that and then you can obviously the fittings you will need but look how much they are a, a 15 mil straight coupler is only a pound 90 degree elbows one pound 30 and you can buy a fittings pack for 77 pounds which includes a whole load of uh, of the fittings if you have a look there we've got uh, bend straights tees all the inserts in 15 and 22 mil um, I don't know how many pieces we've got but a couple of hundred pieces in there normally 112 quid if bought separately and it's 77 pounds it's just so cheap I can't believe it so we definitely will not be using copper um, to run the radiators all around the house you must use 22 mil copper uh, for the gas supply there's, there's no way around that uh, you have to do that um, so yeah, we will obviously have to get some copper as well. This uh, 
company do uh, package deals uh, which seem you know really quite good value for money uh, so they supply the boiler uh, radiators towel rail all the uh, thermostatic valves and all the bits and pieces you need for a complete system as you can see there some in copper some in plastic and uh, for us we uh, we can't go for one of those because we want uh, I think it was 12 rads and we also want either a Worcester Bosch or Valent boiler um, so we're going to have to do this uh, you know by brand and uh, again this company seemed to have some pretty good prices on uh, the boilers uh, so yeah, I definitely wanted. Whoops, definitely wanted to share that. It's uh, MrCentralHeating.co.uk. Uh, they also have a uh, Trust Pilot scheme where you can click down here and uh, go and read all of the reviews uh, from customers. Um, again, I've had a look through their reviews and ratings have been pretty good. I think the only one I found was that because part of the order hadn't been sent out which is pretty annoying uh, but apart from that they've got uh, some really good reviews they were mentioned on the forum that I found and again got pretty good reviews uh, there as well so I think we'll definitely be using uh, this company um, uh, yeah so that's, that's probably pretty much it uh, today I just really wanted to go over the the safety side of things it's really really important um, do check out the gas safe register .co.uk and the planning portal and as I come up with any other uh, websites I'll, uh, I'll add them into you know the future videos the other thing that I just wanted to show you here is the price of the radiators let's go for the double deluxe radiators so this is what I've uh, price the uh, job up uh, using but they're just so cheap I, you know, I couldn't believe it a, uh, a 600 high by 1000 mil wide double deluxe radiator is 54 quid it's uh, yeah it's just the one here can't believe it I've, uh, I've gone around each room and uh, written down the uh, required wattage according to the online calculator and then I've written down the uh, radiator that I think is best suited given the size and space that we've got uh, in that uh, room. Uh, so some of them, the wattage of the radiator is slightly lower. And this one is, what, 1,404, and I, the, the calculator said 1,500, but I reckon that's close enough. And, uh, and I've written the prices down. I haven't had the prices up for all of them yet. I'll do that uh, later on. Uh, but I'm really impressed. You know, we were allowing uh, on some of these bigger radiators 150 to 180 quid. Um, but the biggest rad is uh, is absolutely yeah. There you go. Uh, 600 by uh, 1600, which is huge. And if I click on that, it will tell you the wattage. Um, yeah, the BTUs and wattage is there. It's uh, 2800 watts and the price is just 84 pounds so fantastic uh, price great website and these come with a, a 10 year warranty I, I can't see why you would buy elsewhere really um, so we'll definitely be going for that the other uh, thing that we talked about is uh, the type of system we're going to use we're going to try and utilize some of the stuff we've already got up in the uh, aloft and I'll probably do another video and just show you that uh, either later today or another day um, we're, so I think we're going to go uh, obviously not a combi boiler our property is probably too big for that and there are uh, system boilers which uh, use a uh, vented uh, system and uh, I think that's what we'll be uh, we'll be going for uh, so anyway yeah I'll stop waffling on uh, just wanted to make everybody aware of the safety side of things uh, and I am not giving this advice based on being a central heating engineer okay just bear that in mind you must double check everything I'm telling you and uh, if you're unsure get the help of professionals Okay, so uh, this is part two, just covering the safety, and uh, there'll be more later. Thanks for watching.